Well, welcome again to the Go Your Way podcast. I'm Greg Nierman, and as always, joined by Phoebe Go. And our very special guest, he's a repeat offender now. He was on uh, one of our earlier episodes. He was on last week's, uh, or the last episode we did, and now he's back again as Dean Hildebrand, technical director in the office of the CTO. And Dean, what do I see in the background there? Is that, a, is that an octopus? What's going on? Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, no, that's uh, it's our little octopod, um, octopod in the office of the CTO. If you go out, it's an octo. And so we have, uh, I always have my little octopus, our team mascot in the back, and he's wearing <laughs> our uh, little propeller hat, which is our you know, nugler gooler hat. That is fantastic. Well, look, we're up to our eyeballs in week three of Google Next. It's an online virtual event that spans nine weeks. But week three here that we're in is infrastructure focused. And Dean, I know you're particularly passionate about this. You've got a presentation you're giving this week. Yeah, this is uh, this is my fun one. People might consider infrastructure the boring part, but I think this is the exciting week for you know for us that really care about compute networking storage. Um, yeah, so I'm giving a talk um, with the GCS, the Cloud Storage TL, Dennis Sereni, on what does our infrastructure, our storage infrastructure specific, look like underneath the covers. And so it really is answering the question about why does Google Cloud scale? And the reason it scales is because we're using the exact same infrastructure that all of Google uses. And so YouTube scales the same way that cloud scales. And that's because of this underlying storage infrastructure. And so those are the details we're going to go into. And that works pretty well, I guess, if you're able to scale oh, YouTube yeah. on it. <laughs> It trucks along, you know, and it's been a, a really long journey for the storage team as well. You know, it started with GFS uh, way back in the early 2000s, and it's really evolved a long way from then as Google has grown, right, along with cloud. And so I really think it'll be interesting to a lot of people, and it's going to be one of the advanced sessions. So, you know, for people that have been repeat offenders back to next that they can really find a little more in-depth topics. Uh, and that's going to be something to watch out for this week as well, is really paying attention to which ones are the in-depth ones, which are the 300 level talks, and then the intro versions, which are 100 and 200. So just so for our viewers, maybe they weren't thinking of going, but now they are because they've heard our podcast. What would you say is one of the biggest challenges with, with scaling storage and therefore why should they attend? Because it's so, they're going to figure, they're going to, I don't want you to give it away. But, but what's the question that they should be asking? Why is storage so hard to scale? Why is storage so hard to scale? You know, I think it's, uh, there's one thing, right? It's like a, a, you can have it scale, you can have it perform, and you can have it available. But to get it, all of those aspects, and then to do it globally, I think is a real challenge. And so, you know, you really, it, it, nobody I know, you know, just wants a really horribly performing but highly available system. And so, you know, getting all of them to work and getting to all of our different customers and internal services, like this is something that, you know, I think is a, a challenge that uh, is to some degree somewhat u uniquely, uh, uh, you know, for, for Google. And here's the great thing about all of these week's events is that it's not time-based. It's all available on demand. So when you've got a few minutes to sit down and, con and consume these things, Dean, you mentioned your session. Um, I'll just throw out real quickly. NetApp has got a f quite a few sessions. I'll call out specifically optimizing file storage for your use case um, is a big one. And if you go to the NetApp site, we've got additional details um, on all the tracks that we're involved in. We've got five presentations that are going on this week. And, and Dean, as we talk about the collaboration between NetApp and Google, we're, obviously we're optimizing file storage for your use cases. Uh, the work that we're doing uh, with Google has, has taken on a tremendous amount of progress just in the, in, in the last year. Uh, this is kind of a, a different value. Oh, definitely. I mean, I think in the last year, you know, we've come a long way with the CVS service that's out there and even CVO, which is the, the on-tap VMs that you can deploy and really have all the full feature set of what NetApp can deliver. And again, the combination of that with the cloud and how you can configure them, again, back to this global manner, right, in terms of getting where you need it and how much you need it, you know, is really just, I think, unique. And again, back to the uh, the combination of how our two companies are working together, things are just, you know, I think just getting better every month. That's fantastic. And we'll have a link in the notes below about where you can find all these sessions and more. Uh, I know Phoebe asked you already for kind of a highlight about what you're, what you're thinking about and, and, and the scalability. 
in performance opportunities in Google Cloud. What are some of the other things that folks can look forward to this week? Yeah, so this week, I think, like, again, back top to bottom, right, in terms of, you know, compute networking storage, I think there is a huge misconception out there that infrastructure is infrastructure, it doesn't matter, you know, it is the most boring aspect, you know, all the clouds are the same, like, just pick compute networking storage and move on, right, focus on the higher level aspects. And I think, you know, the goal of this week is to really sort of dispel that myth and really show the differentiation about actually it does matter, right? How fast you get jobs done means how fast your organization can move and how fast, um, you know, if you're getting computing science or handling user requests, whatever the job you want to get it done, if your system is highly available, highly performant, it matters to your business. And I think that's the goal of this week is to really just get that message across that there are infrastructure can be unique and differentiated. And it really matters to have that great foundation, right? And that's what Google Cloud is is basing its uh, portfolio. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> well you really sold me. I, I would love to know <laughs> if, if people attending get the same uh, message because I'm I'm on the same train as you, which is that infrastructure is kind of cool and sometimes a little sexy. So yeah, we, we look forward to hearing people's comments on that. <laughs> we do. We do. And Phoebe, how can people leave five-star reviews for us as we wrap up here? Give us a like on YouTube. We, uh, we really appreciate your likes, your subscriptions, and your comments. And as always, the audio is on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or Apple Podcasts. So please subscribe and listen to Go Your Way. Fantastic. And we'll see everybody on our next episode. Thank you. Bye. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you.